Well, all I can say is thank fuck that's over. I am talking, of course, about dry January, which I am stupid enough to do every year, just to prove to myself I can do it, I suppose. Um, but thank God it's done. It's done and dusted, and hail Bacchus. I am drinking a fine 10 year old Tawny Port, actually. It's a bit of a departure for me. I'm normally a Ruby man, but I, uh, I got into Tawny's late last year and uh, very much enjoying this Tawny Port. It's like. It's sort of like a, a nice bridging gap, I feel, between having a glass of wine and a, and a dram of something stronger. Mm. And um, just like I did last year, when I completed Dry January, uh, I thought I'd celebrate by reading you all a drinking poem. Now, this poem is by Lord Byron, and it's called Lines Engraved on a Cup Formed from a Skull. It used to be my favourite poem of all time, ever. And it's not that the poem has fallen in my estimation at all or anything like that. It's just that these days I'm less into the idea of having a favourite anything. You know, I don't really have a favourite food. My favourite food is whatever I'm hungry for at a particular time. It changes, you know, like I don't have a favourite movie. It's the movie I want to watch at any particular time. It's the same with poems. Um, I still absolutely love this poem. I think it's great and it has a brilliant story behind it. I don't know how true it is because... Uh, Byron is a Byronic character, you know, he's a larger-than-life person who played up to that image as well. And uh, Chinese whispers kind of revolve around these things, um, which he encouraged, you know, he liked to have a, a grandiose, colourful, Byronic self-image. Uh, we know pretty much for a fact that he used to use skulls, human skulls, as vessels for drinking wine. Port, probably. Don't know if he was a tawny or a ruby, ruby kind of guy. Um... But he used to do this, and when his friend and fellow poet Percy Bysshe Shelley died in a boating accident in Italy when he was very young, um, Byron famously asked the mortician who was doing Shelley's autopsy, "Can you preserve the skull for me so I can uh, I can continue to, you know, drink with my uh, my favourite drinking buddy after after he has passed?" Which I think is rather beautiful, and um, maybe he even intended. The poem is called Lines Engraved on a Cup Form from a Skull. Maybe he even intended to engrave these lines or have them engraved on the inside of Shelley's skull. Uh, I like to think so. I think that is pretty cool. I hope someone does that for me one day. Uh, all, all my good drinking buddies out there, if I go before you do, you know, I don't mind if you use my skull. You're welcome to it. Um, here goes. Awesome little poem. Start not, nor deem my spirit fled. In me... Behold the only skull, from which, unlike a living head, whatever flows is never dull. I lived, I loved, I quaffed, like thee I died. Let earth my bones resign, fill up, thou canst not injure me, the worm hath fouler lips than thine. Better to hold the sparkling grape than nurse the earthworm's slimy brood and circle in the goblet shape the drink of gods than reptile's food. Where once my wit perchance hath shone in aid of others, let me shine, and when, alas, our brains are gone, what nobler substitute than wine? Quaff while thou canst another race, when thou and thine like me are sped, may rescue from the earth's embrace to rhyme and revel with the dead. Why not? Since through life's little day our heads such sad effects produce, redeemed from worms and wasting clay, this their chance to be of use. Cheers.